This is the Algo Futures Trader Weekly Market Roundup. Wanted to go through our setup in the trading room uh, during the week. And you can see, obviously, we've got the micro setup here. We've got the ES, uh, the MES here on the top left, our M2K top right, MNQ uh, bottom right, and the DAO here, uh, the micro DAO in uh, the bottom left. Here we have Alpha Web Trader, uh, alphawebtrader.com. And this is just before the market opened. And you can see uh, at the moment, uh, the trend strength, that's the momentum, favored the S&P and the NQ. Uh, the Dow is kind of in the middle here, and the Russell and the EMD were the weaker ones. In terms of our session Fib grid, that's the strength of the trend. Here the NQ was stronger, and Russell was the weak one. All right, that is heading into the open. What you'll see is once the market opens, you'll see the Dow is going to strengthen up. So the Dow is going to move to the top of the list there. And I'm going to go into our uh, hybrid controls here and you'll see I'm going to look for the Dow, the MYM. And I'm just going to turn it on to the long side and it's going to execute that first long trade. And we'll see how that played out. This is from Thursday of this week. All right, just a few moments before the markets get underway here. NASDAQ and S&P a little bit stronger. The Dow is coming in um, next. Small caps, uh, probably the weak one right now. Get some resistance right here in the NQ. If it gets through that, looks like it's trying to. Uh, 867. Here at 867 will be your next uh, level of resistance there. Uh, it's going to be tough to uh, it's going to be tough to go long here if they start triggering to the long side just because of the short bias of the gap. But things are trying to be more positive here. Let's try. Here's my Dow. Let's just try the Dow to the long side here. The Dow really didn't have much of a gap. Got some resistance right here. First uh, resistance um, up around this 440 level. If we can get through that, it's got some room to move to the upside. Uh, the question is, will I be able to get through it on this pass? Right, it's trying to get to that 40 level. So far, I'm not, not able to get through there. Still the stronger market, followed by your NQ here. Right, another attempt to try to get to this 40 level. So far, it just hasn't been able to crack that. We can, if we can break that, then we should get a little bit of a run up. You got 32,500. Uh, you know, 495 is, is the next resistance, and then 500 is a nice round number up there. But we got to get through this 40 first. If they can maintain the momentum up here, which looks like it's just starting to wane a little bit. And the only problem, like I said, is we've got inside gaps to the upside in the other markets here, which means that. Chances are they're going to come down at some point and try to fill those gaps, right? You see the NASDAQ's got a nice long uh, way to go to, to fill that gap, right? Same thing with your S&P here. All right, see if we can su survive a pullback and try to make another run or if they're done here. All right, just... Uh, Played it safe there, get to off, move this, stop uh, using that uh, partial exit and close and reducing the risk by 50% here. Yeah, that's, that's kind of the safe play. Like I said, I just, with those inside gaps to the upside, this still has a short bias in these other markets. In fact, uh, I'll move that stop up another uh, halfway.
I might even put it to break even in a bit here. Um, what I'm going to do. It's going to bring that final target to uh, 500, 32,500. And I'm just going to move the stop to break even here and just see if we can get to the nice round number. Above that, you know, if they can get above that, which you got to expect if they get up there, they're going to hit some resistance up there. So, again, not a whole lot of movement here. Uh, I think we picked the right market. To, if you're going to get long one, it's probably the Dow. Uh, nothing else has gotten too much fall through. The Russell, uh, you got a little bit there, maybe enough to, to get a trade out of it. All right. Uh, Dow still, you can see the Dow on the TSI. It's your stronger market here. All right. Same with your session Fib grid, Dow, stronger market. If you look at your Trendo, same thing, Dow, stronger market. But uh, like I said, the other markets have a short bias. doesn't mean they can't go higher, but at some point, you figure they're probably going to try to fill those gaps. At least that's uh, the tendency about 70% of the time anyway. All right. So we'll see if we can get that target on the Dow and we'll kind of be done for the morning there. If not, you know, we'll take a break even on the last contract and, uh, you know, have profit on two and break even on the last. So, yes, yeah, kind of typical post-Fed uh, type of action here. Uh, just kind of hoping I can get the Dow up, at least tag that resistance. You know, maybe I should get my target just inside the 23 points, uh, what is that, 23.6 instead of at 499 but i gotta imagine if they come up there they'll tag 500 but it is like pulling teeth Let's see if they can do it i just kind of scooshed it in right to the uh the 23.5 resistance level just ahead of 20 uh, 2500 see if we can get that in the meantime, the stop automatically came up. So we're going to take some profit on the last contract here or get that target. All right, there's a target there. Uh, ideally, uh, hit looks like 499 there, 497. Uh, 500 is the round number. Should have some resistance there. Uh, if we can get through that, like I said, it does have room to move to the upside. It just put those inside gaps to the upside here. Uh, you know, I just don't know if at some point they're going to end up rolling over here, especially we just crossed that 10 o'clock threshold. Uh, we'll see what happens. But anyway, uh, we'll take what we can get.